Yo, and welcome back to Shamo Motifers videos, of course. And it's really because of the fact that this game is on life support. And it's been on life support for literally day one. I wish I was lying to you, but hell to the fuck no. This is 100% true. My account is literally the biggest victim of this. As much as I do have hope that whenever year two comes out, which is in November, which I hate the fact I gotta wait. I mean, it is what it is. I want to give it a chance again because hopefully, hopefully this means my shit is going to be fixed. Hopefully all the answers will be there, you know? My rap editor is going to be fixed. Main account is going to be fixed. I don't got to deal with the fact I got to play on my alt account anymore when it comes to, you know, bricked shit, you know, because that's that's what happened to my account. And if y'all don't know what happened, basically, my main account got bricked on PC because I bought the welcome pack on oh, PlayStation. But the thing is, I already had it on, P on PC. I had it for a good minute. The PlayStation was recent, and that's what bricked my game. Like, I'm really hoping that this update fixes this damn problem and i hope it fixes a lot of problems that this game has because for a year straight that this game has been going through nothing but bullshit not to mention that there's really no real multiplayer i highly doubt they're gonna do anything for that which annoys me it's been like this for an entire year and like i said my main account is a victim of this and i've been on ubisoft ass about this shit literally from case to case to case to when i finally joined the server i'm just tired of it man because there's no way i had to wait a full year for them to do what should have been done long ago or at least they should have mentioned this stuff no acknowledgement at all on anywhere of their stuff is anything to do with the fact that people's accounts are bricked because of the welcome pack and the fact that a lot of people's rap editor just like how mine's is broken has been broken since day one of the very first maintenance update i mean it kind of what makes me remember every time these motherfuckers drop an update on motorfest the chances of it breaking the game even more is so likely because i kid you not it's like every single update that came out this year it was always something that broke in the game. I like to call this receive to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? You receive a good update or an update that does something, whatever the fuck it does. And what you sacrifice is, well, maybe a, a complete whole feature broken in the game. For example, my rap editor. <laughs> and also, my entire account, because I can't do shit on it unless I want to do Grand Race. I did mention that I was just going to stop playing the game. And what I meant by that was really in Grand Race, but... Deep down, I really said the whole game, but in reality, there's no way I can just quit the whole game like that. Because here's the thing. I feel like Tyler One, you know that fucking clip I always be using? That's what I feel like, because it's the same way with Motivus. Like, I'm addicted to this fucking game. I like the game. It's addicted. Like, I spent so much time on this game. It's like, bro, I can't just up and quit a game like this. Unless there's another game I'm willing to fall back on that I would rather play over Motorfest any day and not care about the day of FOMO. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to end up coming back to the game. It's like no matter how hard I tell myself to quit the game, it's just it's just going to come back and be like, oh, you should get on the game. Like, I hate that shit. I hate it with a passion. And I wish it wasn't like that because if I had known this game would be this fucked from the beginning, I wouldn't even have spent this much time on Motorfest. Yellow alone would still have the game on my PC. I wouldn't even have bought it on console like I did. <laughs> After they capped up on the fact that crossplay would be in the game, when in reality, it's only beta version of crossplay. But yeah, it's, it's just a sad state to see that this game went through all this shit just to wait an entire year. Just for potentially nothing to be done. And I'm saying this because, like I said... Every time these motherfuckers drop the update on this game, it's like, as soon as they did, that shit just broke. And I'm like, bro, what, what is what is we going to do, man? Because I like this game, but I don't want to just, I don't want to force myself to quit by playing something else that's going to hopefully just overtake that. And God forbid it be Forza Bound because I will never, ever try to sweat on that game. That's not, that's not my cup of tea. I will only get on that game just to do drift clips and shit like that because the pro drift tires are actually fun. And I ain't got to, and I don't really care about sweating on the shit like that unless it's something like payback. We're at a point now where if this game breaks even more once this year two update comes out, if it breaks even more, it's wraps because... It's like, now everyone is just going to know that they're never going to fix this game properly. And that it really should have had stayed from the beginning in development. Like, it should have stayed in the drafts for a little bit longer, dude. You know, to, to, to iron out some shit that definitely caused a lot of issues in an entire year one. Which, I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to think that the reason they're even bringing the whole, like, like 
year one summit cards or summit items into like an item shop where you just do events to get certain tokens. I feel like that's their answer to all the motherfuckers that had basically missed out on all the summit cards and summit stuff that was exclusive to, you know, custom show and also summit events. While some people like myself have a fucking account that's bricked as a motherfucker and can't do nothing about it. How I feel about that is that I see the good intention on it. You know what I'm saying? It actually can help me with my fucking summit card. Well, it can actually help me with my raps because now I can actually go and buy them shits and I can actually make raps on them on my alt account. Assuming that my main account is still going to be broken. I hope that's not the case. Motorfest is just on life support. And <laughs> on year two, if it's on life support again, this will be life support round two. Like, it's raps, man. The game might not ever come back to see the light of day. Like, it's, it's going to forever be broken in ways that it shouldn't be broken. And they're always going to keep focusing on events that give you a good amount of parts or a good amount of money or both. So that it makes you spend more time on the game. Because they want you to basically throw away your money for shit that's broken. Which has been like that for an entire year since launch of this game. And it's that sad. That's sad to see. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video. Because I really I really want Ubisoft to see this. I want motherfuckers to see this. And hold they ass accountable for all the shit that they've been doing this year. And let the shit continue next year on year two. Hold they ass accountable for this because literally this is unacceptable, bro. $70, 70 dollars, seventy plus dollars for a game that's been broken for an entire year with no acknowledgement on any of the issues that's making this game this broken in the first place. Crazy, just crazy activities, man. But yeah, that's about it, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.